Boeing has finally unveiled a concept for the potential successor to the legendary Blackbird SR-71 spy plane, and it is set to travel at more than five times the speed of sound. The son of Blackbird could become a high-speed strike and reconnaissance aircraft in warfare of the future, traveling at such speeds that adversaries would have no time to react or hide. It is designed to carry out spy missions in the same way as the Blackbird SR-71, which was the world's fastest and highest flying operational manned aircraft throughout its career. In 1976 it set an absolute speed record of 2,193.2 miles per hour, 3,529 kmh, a record it still holds today. The concept was unveiled at the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics iTech Forum and is the direct competitor to Lockheed Martin's design which could be in the skies late in the 2020s. The speed of sound, Mach 1, is around 767 miles per hour, 1,235 kmh. Hitting Mach 5 would mean the new craft has to travel at an astonishing 3,836 miles per hour, 6,174 kmh. It's a really hard problem to develop an aircraft that takes off and accelerates through Mach 1 all the way to Mach 5 and beyond, Kevin Bocut, Boeing chief scientist for hypersonics told Aviation Week. The SR-71 replacement needs to take off, accelerate and slow down but itself, just like the 1964 model. Hypersonic technologies, including a combined cycle propulsion system that blends a rocket engine and a supersonic jet engine, are now sufficiently advanced to allow the planned SR-72 project to begin, it is believed. The company is planning a two-step process. First it plans to being test flights with an F-16, single-engine design, and then test flights with a twin-engine, full-scale operational vehicle that would be around 107 foot long, 33 meters. The design has not yet been approved for full-scale development, but it shows a twin-tail, highly swept delta wing configuration. The specific impulse of an air-breathing engine goes down with increasing velocity, so you have to make the engine bigger to get to Mach 5, said Mr. Bocut. But doing that means a bigger inlet and a bigger nozzle, and trying to get that through Mach 1 is harder, he said. A total of 32 of the aircraft were built which flew from 1964 to 1999, 12 were lost in accidents, but none were shot down by enemies. In late 1957, the CIA approached the defense contractor Lockheed to build an undetectable spy plane, and within 10 months they had come up with a design for the Blackbird. Flying at 80,000 feet meant that crews could not use standard masks, which would not provide enough oxygen above 43,000 feet, so specialist protective pressurized suits were made.
the plane's titanium skin was capable of surviving temperatures up to 482 C. In September last year it was announced Lockheed Martin was already testing a radical hypersonic update of its Mach 3 SR-71 Blackbird spy plane. The SR-72 hypersonic plane will be a strike and reconnaissance aircraft that tops Mach 6, and the firm has been working on the project since the early 2000s. Although I can't go into specifics, let us just say the Skunk Works team in Palmdale, California, is doubling down on our commitment to speed, Orlando Carvalho, executive vice president of aeronautics at Lockheed Martin, told the SAE International Aerotech Congress and Exhibition. Simply put, I believe the United States is on the verge of a hypersonics revolution. We've been saying hypersonics is two years away for the last 20 years, but all I can say is the technology is mature and we, along with DARPA and the services, are working hard to get that capability into the hands of our warfighters as soon as possible, Rob Weiss, Lockheed Martin's executive vice president and general manager for advanced development programs, previously told Aviation Week. It is expected to be around the same size as an F-22, empowered by a full-scale, combined cycle engine. Hypersonic aircraft, coupled with hypersonic missiles, could penetrate denied airspace and strike at nearly any location across a continent in less than an hour, said Brad Leland, Lockheed Martin program manager, Hypersonics. Speed is the next aviation advancement to counter emerging threats in the next several decades. The technology would be a game changer in theater, similar to how stealth is changing the battle space today. The Quiet Supersonic Transport Quest Low Boom Flight Demonstrator aims to produce a much lower boom than other supersonic aircraft, and NASA is hoping to see the first flight tests take place in 2021. Lockheed Martin has been working on the preliminary design with hopes to move on to build the demonstrator, but NASA has now opened the door for other companies to submit their own designs as well.